All right, we may need some group therapy in this upcoming episode. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. I'm watching more One Piece today. And the last one, we found out that Jimbei actually was the one that sent Arlong out to East Blue in the first place. And that was revealed as Nami arrived. So a little bit awkward there. I'm very interested to hear why he sent him out. And I guess more about Queen Odohime and why that's so important now. And why one of the uh, fishmen that, that are with Horty Jones brought it up on a phone call. Meanwhile, Horty Jones has taken some of the Straw Hats captive even though bro got bodied by zoro literally in his own environment we're gonna hop right into it if you're new to the channel don't forget to drop a sub and let's get started <laughs> robin alone time oh my god it's my favorite key to the void in history yeah talk more about it oh my gosh solo robin adventure is my favorite there could be something there could be nothing you never know i just get geeked either way this reminds me of skypea when she was alone what is this what is it no! Oh my god! It's so unfair. Life is so unfair. What is she fine, man? We better find out this episode or I'm gonna be mad. It's gonna go like 10 and then we're gonna cut back to her. This is not a retreat. Copium. Oh, get the princess first, yeah. Fish for Lee Hills, baby. Bro, this is chaos! Step on it. A tap? What? Is it like the prove you're a fishman? Officer New Fishman virus Ikaros much? Candy Factory Town? Is it like to swear your oath? Actually, she has gills, so she's definitely a fishman. Oh, it's a picture of. Is it a picture of Queen Odohime? Oh, man. Dang, that's kind of metal, bro. Is that the cowboy Octo? Yeah, I think so. Ah, there he is. Oh, he wasn't the cowboy. The cowboy was with them. It's literally just saying you're a part of like this this new generation of fishmen. Let you swear by them. My God, bro, he's kind of cracked with it. He's so fast. Oh, that quick animation snap was cold. Not the mall! Oh, they are straight up just like overthrowing the whole country. They're like, why would you not side with us? Yeah. Is this Absalom? Oh, it's... Dude, what is his name? Zeo. He's cool. I like his design a lot. I think he's just like camouflaged though. He's not like completely invisible. Seems people really like respected Queen Odohime. Dosun. He is a unit. Oh! The prince is here, baby. Boom! To you protect your people! Mm, so that's why they were talking about... Oh, okay. I wonder why her in particular, not like Neptune. She's not even alive anymore. And she was probably seen as like the nation's mom. <laughs> they still don't know who to trust. I feel kind of bad. How are they two now? Oh my gosh, Goop Man! I completely forgot! But there's a wild card! Is he talking about the princess? Is he gonna kidnap her? Or she'd be worth like billions. Worth 70 million. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ain't nobody got that kind of money, bro. Wait, she kind of looks like Queen Odahime. She just walked up and got kidnapped. My God, don't talk to strangers in Fishman Island. Yeah, the goats are, are going to arrive soon. Don't worry. Wait, they can't really take his life? Megalo looks so hype. Yeah! Can we please come back to Robin, man? So why Nami standing like that? Oh, he even made her a giant. Where did he get the giant cup from? Nope. He's gotten worse. Explain yourself. Oh, man, even Sanji's getting serious. Bro, it was before Arlong Park. Yosaku, oh my gosh. In exchange for... Oh. I mean, it's on the wall, kind of. 
Yeah, I, I forgot his name. I'm not gonna lie. It's on the wall. Yosaku and who? Uh, there's no time. Oof. He knows what that meant to Nami. Mm -hmm. He's standing up for her at a boy. Dude, Jinbei, it, it, he looks like he has like an overwhelming sense of guilt. I mean, the thing is, Jinbei can't really apologize, but you can literally tell by the look of his face. He's he maybe he didn't even know the full extent of like, no, he knew people were hurt by our long, but I guess like a direct example right in front of him is, is hard to swallow. Oh my gosh, dude, it's weird seeing this in like HD. Was this Arlong's voice? Maybe I don't, it's been so long, I don't even remember. To think that Hachi was part of this is so weird in retrospect. There have only been a few like really, really brutal kills in One Piece. That's like probably top three, man. The gun to the face, gun to the chest. God, dude, how far Hachi has come. He really helped kidnap her. He's redeemed himself in a, a few ways, at least. Well, kind of. I think we just know who he truly is now. He was never like a true incarnate evil like Arlong, I don't think. <laughs> Terrible is another statement, Jinbei. Is, where is Arlong? He didn't die, right? Is he in jail? Yeah, dude, she actually kind of sees it from some of their perspectives. Damn! Then, like, Hachan is a very good example of one that, like, was just fighting back, too. Trying to make something for himself. They wanted something for themselves. The fishmen were, like, ostracized, basically. That's what I'm saying! Arlong was, like, an incarnate evil. Like, he really didn't like them. But also because of how they treated him. Just the pendulum swung too far. Oh, they just wanted to be with everybody else. That's so sad. We knew this back whenever Luffy took Kami and like watched after her. However well that went. That was why Arlong Park was built like that. Just replicated it. Yeah, but not everybody's gonna treat him right. Oh, King Neptune participated in the summit? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. People aren't gonna just change their minds right away. Beginning. Looking for the One Piece, bro. Adventure gold. So I can imagine if, if Whitebeard hadn't sworn to protect it or sworn it as one of his islands. Yep. Uh -huh. God, I missed that man. Oh. You're not gonna just gonna change everybody's minds right away. Bro, Hachi's been through quite a bit. I'm not gonna lie in retrospect. Uh, God dang, dude. Too real. Holy. Two people rose up. So Arlong was one of them? Okay. She's like a peace activist. That's why they're having her step on, having people step on her picture. And Fisher type. Yeah. Invaded and Marie joined by himself in front. Bro, what a jigga chat. Holy. The sun pirates. I see. Okay, okay, okay. They were all part of it. Mm. But Fisher Tiger died breaking people out, no? So that was after he had already formed the Sun Pirates? Oh, they kind of countered Queen Otohime. Damn. Instead of being unified. Uh, he didn't want to waste. I mean, you can see it from both perspectives of why Fisher Tiger did it. His way, yeah. Both were right or wrong. What does he mean hidden angst? Like why Fisher Tiger acted so quickly? Either way, I I absolutely love like getting the lore of stuff like this, and it's, it just adds on to the world building. It's absolutely beautiful. So Odahime and Fisher Tiger are no longer around, so that's why it's so much chaos on Fishman Island, I guess. 540, let's run it. Instant made him rampage. Oh. Oh shoot! Lore, baby, story. I love this stuff. I can't get enough. Alrighty. Decade and a half ago. A robber? Oh my god, he's got a hostage too. Holy. Oh, that's a human for real. <gasps> Queen Odahime. 
Oh shoot. I don't know what those like arcs are called like behind like royalty. It's like certain uh cultures and stuff. I love it though. It's like the the sort of band behind her. It's kind of what uh Shirohoshi's hair is like. Oh. oh he may have like some cracked devil fruit. Oh, she got like that matrix devil fruit? Oh my god. Oh my god! Brother! So effortless. Damn, bro, how did Queen Orohime die? Goldfish mermaid. Huh. I see the resemblance in Shirohoshi. Oh, it like hurt her hand. It's like all red. I guess because she slapped him really hard. <laughs> Compound fra- Oh my gosh. Also, she was like pretty frail. She would do it again for her people. Oh, so he is a fit. Okay, yeah, I can see the fin. All the more reason not to. Yeah, bro, she got a compound break from one slap. She's just hitting him over and over again. Oh my gosh. I mean, maybe with like bread or something. Yeah. I think she's still not relating to him that well, though. It's like he, yeah, it's like trash that he's stealing and especially taking a hostage, but. Well, she harbored a lot of guilt for what the people went through. She switched so fast, though. Oh, dang. So she both was like strong, strong willed, but also related. That's why people liked her so much. It seems like she switched so fast, though. Yeah, she does switch so fast. Oh my gosh. Maybe it's good that she relates to him so well and goes back on a dime. Like the kingdom is guilty? I'm having a hard time figuring her out. I think we're starting to a little bit more. Uh <laughs> because she cried for him? Is he going to jail? I mean, it makes sense, but... And she was loved by everybody. Oh, are we going to see how... Oh. Brother! Oh my gosh, she rolls with an iron fist. Maybe we'll see why she was killed or how she was killed. It has to do something with the sun pirates, no? Because they, in some fashion, opposed her, kind of, like naturally. There's no reason they would kill her. She didn't do any bad, inherently. Went down every day. A woman of the people. So they wait for the day to understand us. They have to make that bridge. Oh man! How do they move the sea floor? Dang, maybe someone was scared of of her moving them closer to humans, so that's why they killed her. Mm, bad and good. Dang. She saw a path to them when most people didn't. They just saw that, that gap between humans and fishmen. Oh, man. They like saw You can see in the people's faces. They like, yeah, they're like, ah, it's not going to work. They, they have no hope, but they'll still follow her. Even they can't get behind. Oh, my gosh. They didn't even sign it. Even she can't convince them. That's how bad it was. God, she may look sick in his fit. Oh, we can see Neptune in his prime? It was 16 years ago. Oh, they're so small. And there's the princess. Oh, they all put their pinky on her. Aww. That's how, like, she knows it's them. It's just the pinky. Oh, such good brothers. Oh. She could do it by video. Is this where it happens? Her strong observation hockey? Is that just hockey? So they they were worried. I mean, I'm not sure they were worried that she got so close to just regular citizens. They were right to be worried. One bad person. Mm. They tried to bridge the gap several hundred years ago. Dang, I see why it changed stuff so much when she died. She was like the whole kingdom, basically. Only takes a bad couple pirates, man. Uh. Sound like Jimbe. Yep. God, that fit goes hard. And the pipe, too. So maybe the Sun Pirates kind of kept order. He was 30. God dang. How old is Jimbe? Okay, so now he's 46. Okay. Uh, that, I can see that. That makes sense. Very unusual, yeah, to say the least. Eccentric. 
Sounds like a bad neighborhood. That's where like Arlong and them grew up. So they just abandoned it? And all the orphans just went there? Ah. Oh. Everybody branched off into their own path. Jinbei was just one that stayed straight, kind of. Oh, the signatures. Oh, Arlong. So this division was way after the Sun Pirates, like, weren't crazy together. Like, they weren't super together. Like, Fisher Tiger was gone. Jinbei was in the army. Arlong was doing his own thing. So maybe because Arlong started causing so much trouble, Jinbei sent him away. But I'm guessing Jinbei was way stronger already than Arlong at this point. Yeah, they saw each other's family at least. It makes sense why though. Scum! God dang! I can't believe he like actually got Arlong to leave and go to East Blue. Like, how he convinced him. Maybe he made him. Oh! Mr. Tiger came back. Oh. Hey, yo, he looked like a Chad. I mean, we already knew he was. But, oh, he's so he was like the bridge between Arlong and Jimbei. Like neither good nor evil. I mean, he's good. He freed a lot of people. Yeah, he's like the middle between them. So the kingdom losing Fisher Tiger and Odahime, that's what changed everything. It kind of kept some sort of balance. And that, that time when he went to free the slaves was when he, he died, right? He freed so many. Yeah, it'll cause them trouble because it makes a name for fishmen. Oh, man. That's so conflicting because he kills people to get into free slaves and then people see fishmen as even as, as monsters. People are going to find out one way or another. Yeah, making a bad name with the Celestial Dragons too. Like you're freeing so many people, but you're also sort of setting the name of fishmen back. It sucks. There's no, it's a lose-lose. Is that Boa free? God, what a Chad. Lily single-handedly invaded. That is nuts. Oh, that's when he left. Hearing about Fisher Tiger freeing people made him leave. Yeah, set out. That ship looks nuts. Oh, so they literally joined like his, his ship. And so did Jimbe. They were like a, an army by themselves. And that's when they got branded. Oh, dang. And that's when they turned that slave symbol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a rebirth for them. God, dude. The Sun Pirates were a force to be reckoned with. I mean, Fisher Tucker alone. And I'm just realizing we didn't see whatever Robin saw last episode. I knew they would do that to us, bro. I knew it. But man, I, I couldn't be happier with the lore that we're getting and getting to find out more about Fisher Tiger and I guess the roots of Fishman Island. That's what I always love. And now the, the pieces connect a lot more because I was kind of still confused about the overall like relationship between Arlong, Jimbei, Fisher Tiger and how people saw him. But this is giving us all a great look at all that alongside understanding more about Queen Odahime and why people like re revered her as such and why this new gen of Fishman pirates to, to really show that you're dedicated is to step on a picture of her because she is the complete opposite spectrum of what this, these new fishmen want. These new fishmen want to basically take over the world and just obliterate anything that isn't fishmen because of all the, the persecution that they've experienced. Whereas Odahime was trying to find that bridge with humanity. It, it's a horrible situation, but God dang, dude, is it real? Is it deep? But guys, that has been it for my reaction to One Piece today. I hope you did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub before you leave. And hopefully we'll see what Robin is up to in the next one. Peace, peace.